Hello and welcome to a an interesting little video. I'm going to give you my views on the brand new match engine. It's been quite a debate, really, this, and it's really quite an interesting one because there's some people who sit there saying one thing and some are completely contradicting and saying another thing. Um, now we're just going to play a game. That's literally what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go through what I feel works and what I feel doesn't. I'm going to go through pros and I'm going to go through cons and I'll let you know which is which etc. Um, obviously we have to go through this new this new processing um, but as before, bang, get straight into the game. Yeah? Get straight from the off. Um, I actually think I have it set on I'm not actually the game. So, but straight off the bat you can tell it's slow. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to press settings and it isn't letting me do it. I'm trying to pause Still hasn't paused. Thank you. Now I can go to pitch and extended. Notice I'm very fast. Now, I thought I was in, but it wasn't. Uh, it's, this isn't, doesn't matter what the score is, I don't, I don't care. It's literally just the game and the actual engine. Now, straight off the bat, the lag. Yeah, you can see it. It's lagging, yeah? Now, I have an Xperia S. It's not a bad phone, it's a pretty decent phone, it's always been good but in the past. Obviously it's not top notch, it's a year and a half old, you know, but it's still a good phone. Now, they've made this new engine, and you need a really good phone for this to run. And I feel like majority of people don't have these good phones. So this match engine is pretty, I'm not going to say pointless, you know, because it's a step in the right direction for me. but. Not a lot of people can use this match engine yet, and I think this is probably a year too early for this match engine. You know, that's, that's my opinion, just a little bit too early, but it's still a quality match engine, nevertheless. Yeah, but the lag, the lag number one, con, con number one, the lag, and that's just from my point of view. Um, con number two, you get the odds, like, the highlights are good, yeah, but you get the weird ones where you have literally a goal kick and you'll literally kind of it'll just be the goal kick and then there'll just be a foul and it's kind of like and then it, then it stops and that's like that's not really a highlight, it's just a foul do you know what I mean? it's a bit, it's just a little bit of pointless and I find there's quite a lot of just pointless highlights where they probably could just I'm not saying they'd not to have it in, just like that, that's a highlight, you know, so I've got had a shot. And every now and then you see where there's shots on the stats, which aren't which aren't on the highlights. And you sat there thinking, but so that foul earlier on was a highlight, but that shot that's just happened wasn't a highlight. Like then, I just had a shot there and it was on target. Yeah, nothing. I mean, <laughs> but then there's been a foul. That's my, that's my other con. Um, I'm going to go to a pro now. Um, you can see your tactics physically unfolding in front of you. And that's, I like that. You could never see that before. You literally kind of, you just see like, your couple of dots would, would be moving and then you wouldn't see your tactics working at all. You wouldn't have a clue whether your, your wing back is actually tracking back. You wouldn't, have a, you wouldn't have a clue whether your inside forward is actually cutting in and shooting. On here you do, and you can actually see your formation in, in line and I love that. I love that so much because you can actually kind of go, do you know what? I don't like him in that position. Like in this game, I'm playing 4-2-4, four, four, no, 4-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. And there's two wingers, two, two, cent two central midfield players, two wingers, and two strikers. And you can see that. Right? You can see that in there. Yes, you can move a player and you'll know that you can see him actually doing that. And I love that because, as before, you couldn't tell 100% on what your tactics were actually doing. And then onto, onto a fourth pro, understanding what is happening in the game, whether a player's playing poorly, you can see him playing the poor passes, you can tell if he's playing a poor game. And I'm gonna go straight on to the, um, a con here. This processing, I just, I'm not being funny. You shouldn't have to process at half time, you know? Um, you have to, same with subs. I don't understand why they decided to process like that with the subs. And and you make you make a sub. You want to go? Oh bang! 
it puts me off making a sub just because of the processing. I found that and it's just a bit, I don't know, I just don't, I just don't like it. I've seen with the process. Look, it's just going so slow. It's, it bores me. It actually bores me, like, how slow it goes. And this is where I went back to saying about a year too early, I feel. Um, but I'm going to go into another pro and I'm just going to say detail. Yeah, I'm just going to say detail because what I love is when a sub is made, you can physically see the old lads running off and then another one coming on. Now, I, just, I don't know, I don't, it's just little detail. Oh, I love it. I love it. Just being able to go, oh, nice one, he's coming on. You see the sub happening. You can see when they're making subs, etc. Celebrations when goals are scored. You know, you're playing little players run off and little dots. And yeah, they've scored. You can tell them they're little celebrating. As a, you can tell it's a big goal because all the team just... Start celebrating another thing from FM from PC, um, and then little things like when the opposition think it's offside, and then they start moaning to the linesman, etc. I love it. It just gets me really excited about like, being in with the game. I I do really love that. And then I mean, another thing that I really love is on the stats um, when you see when it goes to the overview, um, the clear cut chances. See, I love that. You can sit there. Neither team have had any. Um, the clear-cut chance is just massive, so you can literally go, okay, I've had 20 shots, they've had three, but they've had two clear chances, I've had none. And you can sit there and go, okay, and you can judge the game a bit more on just, just by having that, uh, just whether you open them up more. Um, but I feel like that is a huge point of the game, um, knowing how well you've actually, how playing, if you're actually creating the chances. It's all good seeing shots. But it has to be good chances. There's no point having 20 shots and they're all from 50 yards, you know? And then we've got the the whole, like, not just the number of highlights, but also the length of the highlights. Because the highlights is your interpretation of the game. That's what you can actually see in the game. So you want them to be a decent length? Well, I think sometimes they're a little bit too long in that sense. Just feel that with the pick up and play element which we'll move on to later I just feel like you should they should be as long sometimes they, they, they overdo it a little bit um, but then like that, that's, that's just how I feel with those kind of things like sometimes like you will have like a good minute of just passing a little bit and then then you'll have the free kick and then, then that'll be it and it'll be a bit like oh well that could, if you're gonna do the free kick just do the free kick or something you know, but, but I mean, if you if you sat down at home, you know, you, you, can, you can deal with that kind of thing. But if you're out and about and you're like, oh, my next stop's coming up, now I'm on the bus. You kind of you don't want to. If you don't want to be on there, if you're not, if you're on there for five minutes, you, you should be able to bang out two or three games on the bus. You should be like, oh, nice one. Now you're lucky to get one game out. You know, and that's for me is what the game should be about. But um, at the same time, sorry, it's smart. It's at the same time. That's what people wanted. People wanted a new match engine, and I feel like that's what they've, they've listened to, and they've gone, let's do a new match engine. And in all, in credit to them, they added on the fact that you can go back to 2014, the previous match engine. So in a way, you sit there moaning about it, but at the same time, they've left that in. So you can just go back, and I, I, I appreciate that, because because they've allowed you to do that, you can then do that. Moving on, so so far we've got the lag, pointless highlights, tactics unfolding in front of you, understanding what happened, the detail, the celebrations, etc. We've got the clear cut chances in there, the process in time, the number of highlights, including the length of the highlights. Then we're going to move on to the speed of play and general gameplay while well, you haven't got it set onto pitch oh my battery oh, it keeps happening to me if you haven't got it set onto pitch and you've got it on only a commentary and it's set to key and not extended right and I'm very fast now you should think this game set like that this should go very fast this should completely fast and <laughs> that should be the goal this should go really fast this should be bang instant game like it was before in my opinion why should it still be lagging? Why should it still be like going really slow at the time? You know it on very fast on the old engine. It goes bam 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 goal. You hardly even have time to read it. 
It's like it's now very fast. It's now like medium from the old engine, so the new engine. If you get what I mean. Now if they had it, so you could just set it. So yeah, you can watch the matches when you want. But then you can go and set it to only commentary and key, and you, and you can literally another goal. You can literally go like fast as well in that same engine. If you get what I mean. That's, that's 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 what I feel, and I think if they'd added that in, that would have been insanely better. Because then you can have you could go fast at times, and then when you are in other times, you can then just go. Oh yeah, I've got a fancy watching this game. Do you know what I mean? I think that's that would have been a lot better way forward. I know if you go forward, that is the kind of thing that they will add. But anyway, tying this on to the pick up and play element, which is being questioned now, and I kind of understand why. I feel like. Whereas before, you literally can pick up and play. Play, 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 play. Now it's kind of like, you've got to pick up and you kind of, not straight away, got, you can't just play straight away. You've got to kind of, you know what I mean? You just can't, I just don't feel like it is a pick up and play anymore. Um, it's just not the way it used to be. Um, I, feel, I feel like they're going that direction because they want to get in more FM PC players playing the game more audience and they're going to get more money out of it and you can tell they're more money driven this year with the addition for the in-game editor etc as an IAP and in-app purchase you can tell that they're, they're driving that and driving their profits now a little bit I mean it's going ridiculously slow now and I don't think I'm going to get to the end of the game I mean it's already hitting 11 12 minutes so we're going to just hit a conclusion I'm going to give the, the brand new match engine a 6 out of 10 I feel like it's good, but it could be way better. There's a lot of reasons why it's not very good. There's also a lot of reasons why it is very good. Just one little thing is that at full time, I hate it. It just goes bang at full time. Right, and it, you don't even realise it's full time, then suddenly it's gone to continue. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you disagree with anything, let me know. Cheers then, bye.